The bronze to former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, continuing his comeback attempt by lying like a rug, telling Fix News that it was obvious Governor Palin did too know what the Bush Doctrine was, when reminded that the governor, quote, had to be told by Charlie Gibson that the Bush Doctrine is a preemptive strike. Giuliani bristled, not on Wikipedia. Wikipedia says the Bush Doctrine is irresponsible, some kind of irresponsible warmonger. Nice try, Sylvester. In 1,053 words, the Wikipedia entry for Bush Doctrine carefully and neutrally describes, uh, describes the Bush Doctrine at great and boring length. The words irresponsible and warmonger appear exactly no times, not even under the appendix at the end titled Criticism. Rudy Giuliani just made that up. Our silver tonight to the Lit Abs of CNN appearing at the Value Voters Summit run by the holier-than-thou Tony Perkins. Le said Governor Palin had been savaged in the media by Matt Damon and added that I was hanging by a, quote, seriously medicated thread and insisted that I had gone after his children and thus he would like to get me in a room alone for a frank exchange of ideas. Lou means a fight. Lou likes to threaten people to fight. He threatened to beat up the head of CNN Sports in 1982 after that man took Mrs. Lou off the air because she couldn't read aloud. Lou was 37 then, the head of CNN Sports who we wanted to beat up was 62. And first of all, if Lou and I had a fight, we would look like two sumo wrestlers bumping bellies. Secondly, I never went after his children, I went after him. Lou spends his weeknights stirring up hatred of Hispanics and illegal immigrants. Lou spends his weekends helping to financially support the industry horse shows that is the second or third largest employer of illegal immigrants. That's for his children's horses. It's the fact that it's their children's horses. That's besides the point. He's the one paying for the illegals while making money demanding the illegals be deported. Thirdly, Lou, I never went after your children. I went after you. Be a man. Stop hiding behind your daughter's skirts. But our winner, Alessandra Stanley of the New York Times. She has attacked Charles Gibson of ABC for his measured, fair, and above all else, simple and direct interview of Governor Palin. She describes him as impatiently wriggling his foot, having the skeptical, annoyed tone of a university president who agrees to interview the daughter of a trustee but doesn't believe she merits admission. Ms. Stanley misses the obvious that it's Governor Palin, the applicant, who had up until now refused to be interviewed and simply was demanding admission anyway. But wait, there's more. Gibson's, quote, attitude was at times supercilious. He asked if a nuclear Iran posed an existential threat to Israel as if it were the land of Sarch, not Sabras. Well, that's a, a cute pun there, but the problem is the first definition of existential is not a philosophical line of thought popularized by Jean-Paul Sartre, but rather, quote, pertaining to existence. It was a little known piece of trivia, but this segment was introduced one day when Alessandra Stanley, previously critical of MSNBC for never giving shows any kind of chance, demanded this network cancel a new show that had only been on the air for about a week. By airtime that night, we of course had already found somebody who'd done something worse. So what a feeling tonight to finally be able to say, Alessandra Stanley of the New York Times, today's worst person in the world.